Hey, what's up guys? Hey, I'm back here working on this engine again. Um, trying to get it back together so we can get it on the run stand. Um, I got a lot more parts now, so we'll be able to actually make some physical progress. Um, everything came in from Holly, so I can work on the wiring. Uh, we'll get it up on the stand, like I said, and that'll be kind of the start of that. Uh, I got a lot of the bell housing adapter system all done, so the trans is all figured out. Uh, I'm just waiting on a clutch still. Um, a couple other things, so. Um, Gonna work on getting the direct injection deleted today, camp locked out, start putting it back together. Um, work on making this thing make some noise. So let me show you what I've done so far and then I'm gonna get the other half of the motor done today. So I got the cam covers off the back of the engine right now. Um, so what I'm gonna end up doing is, so we have the, the cams are locked with these lock bars. If you guys remember that from the last video. And then I got the right plug. There's a plug that goes in the block. It's hard to see, it's that guy right there. So that locks the crank in place, the cams are locked in place, so nothing can get messed up that way. Um, nothing get out of time. Everything's gonna be super happy and stay together. So I made a couple marks on this side. You can kind of see, just so I knew where everything was, make sure I put everything back kind of the way I found it. So everything's all lined up really nice on this side. Um, and then this side, I got the lower intake all together. Um, it's kind of hard to see, but in there, that's the, the direct injection plugs. So I'm not gonna be running any of that anymore. It's gonna be running on a set of 850 uh, injectors from fuel injection connection that we got. But had, uh, had a guy make me 10 of these. So these are little replicas, if you will, of the direct injection fitting. So we get those all assembled. Got the other bunch of them right here. You gotta get all the, the seals and everything on them and get them put in. Um, so here, I'll show you. So those are all the seals that have to be installed on these uh, block offs. So you get them all pressed on. Uh, then they'll literally pop right back into the, the engine and the fuel rail just like like they were designed to, so it'll be held in place real nice and we won't have any leaks. Um, there we go. All right, so that's them. That's where the direct injection goes when it's being used. So. Let's just drop in. And then, because I don't want any leaks, they require just a little bit of persuasion. That's it. We'll get it all cleaned up and put the lower intake on. Well, I got the whole lower half together. Um, just installed these two, so this is where the direct injection pumps went. We had send, cut, send. Uh, 
laser cut these plates for us. There's a couple other plates that are going down on the exhaust on the back side. Um, and then another cool thing they made for us were these adapter plates. So this plate right here actually will adapt the throttle body now to an LS, which is gonna help us tremendously with the, with the Holly system. It'll basically be plug and play with the drive-by wire uh, pedal and harness and everything. So that's gonna save so much time and trying to figure out how to make all of this work. On to the cam walkouts now. All right, so I got the exhaust one out right now over here on the table. I had Sen, Sen make me these little guys too. I made a drawing off of one that I bought. So these are basically little locks that'll keep that from rotating, locking the cam timing out so we won't have to deal with that. Um, and I'll go over all this here at the end of the video why we're doing all this. Um, so right now it doesn't fit perfectly. I made them as close as I could, but they're not perfect. So I have to sit here and file them until they fit perfect. So. Get that done, and then uh, I'll show you when it starts to go together. There it is, installed. Now that thing absolutely cannot rotate. So get it put back together. Do the other one, and time to seal the front cam covers up. I got it all back together. It went pretty smooth, actually. It's it's nice with all the cam plates. You don't have to worry about messing stuff up too much. So all my lines all lined back up. Everything seems happy. So. Now to put these back cover plates on and I can pull all my fixtures off, get the valve covers back on, get it back together. She's all sealed back up for the most part. Got the valve covers and other plates on for the cam. So still have to get the oil pump finished. And then I can get that back on the car or on the engine. Uh, but now it's basically at the point where we're gonna get it on that run stand, work on wiring. I gotta get the injectors changed out. A few other things, I'm missing some bolts for this intake. So get a couple other things coming and get the new coil packs in from APR. Start, uh, start making this sucker run. Just happy it's all together now and all the steps change. So we went through that. Um, we deleted the direct injection and locked the cam phasers out um, just to simplify the whole thing. So we're using a Holly Dominator EFI system on this and it doesn't have the ability to control direct injection, um, which is why we're running this uh, Huracan intake, which already has port injection and uh, it really can't control the cam timing either. So there was, a, there was a lot of options, you know, a lot of people not, might not agree with what we're doing. It is possible to control it all, um, but we're not going to. So like if you run like a MoTeX system or something like that, that's fine and great and you can do it. But um, what that costs and what's involved with that is a lot more complex and complicated than what I want to deal with. So we'll put a set of turbos on this and make up all the power that we're going to lose from the cams being locked out. Um, you know, the direct injection is just going to, getting rid of that is going to make tuning even easier. Um, so that's kind of the gist of it. It's just really to simplify it, still eliminate some of the unnecessary stuff that we don't need on this project. Um, yeah, so that's basically it. So. She's all back together. <laughs> Hopefully get this thing out of this hole I got tucked into back here. Um, and then uh, try to make it make some noise. I think what 
I want to hear for sure and see it make some noise. And then when our chassis shows up one of these days, we can start fitting it in there and get the transmission bolted back up to it and go from there. So there she is.